All right, how's everyone doing? So we are finally unboxing those New Balance 574 Classics. If you guys watch uh, Eddie Wynn or any of them, definitely shout out, man. Love your content. Um, all of you sneaker YouTuber guys that you know get to go to Complex Con, Sneaker Con, Soul Exchange, whatever it is. They always talk about the New Balance 574s. Now, I'm not bandwagoning. I'm not doing any of that. I just, from hands on. Now, they're not the most comfortable New Balances. The most comfortable New Balances I had recently have tried on the X90s and the 574 Fresh Foams. You can find them on sale everywhere. I got my X90s from Winners for, I think it was like $36. Uh, I really want a pair of the Thunder Spectras or Spectra Thunders, whatever the hell they're called. Um, but, yeah. Oh, what? They have uh, Journeys at Tawasin Mills? Okay, so when you're going to Vancouver, Tawasin Mills is this outlet mall there. They have uh, Saks Fifth. Uh, and this is the outlet store version of it. I've never been to Saks. But um, it's called Saks Fifth uh, off of Fifth Ave or something like that. So they carry everyday regular stuff from like Adidas to high-end designer brands too. But everything's like 75% off. So I was like, definitely want to go there sometime. I could get a pair of some like, like red bottoms or any like. Gucci's or anything that'd be sweet but yeah these are the 574s I don't have anything on me right now to unpackage them with but I can definitely check if I have something around here well I'll have to use a night lamp but this will do yeah, next time I go to Tawasin Mills, definitely check out the Journey store there, but that's where they came from. Yeah, they asked me if I wanted these ordered in store or to, uh, like shipped to the store or in house, uh, like to my house. Um, I said ship them to the store, but they ended up shipping them to my house anyway, so I was like, well. That sucks, but I'm trying to be very gentle and careful that I don't damage the shoe box because sometimes that happens and it's a total letdown and bummer. So, but let's see how these babies look. Well, I open them upside down, but. Oh, what the hell. These were actually a pickup with, I and I don't know if I showed you guys my pink Vans off the wall full sleeve. I got that for $20. And then I got my Vans off the wall full sleeve that's in black and white for also $20. But I'm not going to show you this side. This has all my shipping address information and stuff. Eventually, when we do make it big, I will get a P.O. box. If you want to feel free to ship me anything, just send it to my P.O. box. I'll go pick it up. Don't have one at the moment. Here we go. So, ML574 MSC. Now, the thing with the 574 is it's a chunky retro sneaker. It has a boxy toe on it. Now, it might not be for everyone, and I don't blame you. Tom the Real Ray Ray 20, or now he goes by Tom Stefaniak, which is his actual name. He, I think a few years back, made a video top 10 sneakers for under $100, and this made it onto the list. Uh, but I think he made two or three parts to it. The Nike Air Hirachi has been on there a few times. Still recommend that shoe. Super comfortable, like stupidly comfortable for a retro sneaker. Thanks, Tinker Hatfield, for making that shoe. Um. Now, I found out that it's actually not pronounced Hirachi. Everyone calls it Hirachi, but it's actually Warachi. Um, and, uh, but yeah, 
yeah, definitely give them a try. They're super comfortable. I think I might pick up another pair. I found a dope pair on Facebook for, I think it was like 110 in Vancouver. Guys said ship, it'd be like 125. I was like, I can do that. And they're in my size. So size 10 and a half. So like, I, I haven't owned a pair of Hirachis in a long, long time. So I was like, that'd be dope. Um, now, when you eventually do wear the 574s, and they do soften up a little bit, but I think I might swap out the insoles if they're removable and put in more cushioned insoles. Uh, Crep just came out with insoles, so I might need to give them a try, see if they're comfortable. But, um, yeah, they're size 10. They didn't have 10 in store, so I ordered the 10. They had a 10 and a half, it was too big, I tried it on. Uh, remember last time I bought a 10 and a half in them, they were way too big. I had to take them back and get a 10 in them instead. Um, this is a different color box. The color box them um, used to in the 594 is usually like a red and like a tan color. This is gray. So it has a gray all over box. New Balance logo in silver right there. It says New Balance. New Balance so logo on the top official color for these doesn't even say but the color is actually pretty fire uh it does have white in it i know it's gonna be hard to keep clean but i was like these are an exception i've been eyeing these for a long long time and the dope thing about uh the journeys is every time you buy something from them uh, look at the very bottom of your store receipt it will say get ten dollars off your next purchase so any purchase you make of $75 or more, you get $10 off of. I know it's not that much of a discount, but $10 is something. Any purchase of $25 or more, you get $5 off of. So it adds up. So take full advantage of your discounts while you can, because I know that some people are on budgets and stuff, and I'm all about saving money and helping you guys save money too. Um, now, size 10, US, or 44 euro, or nine and a half UK men's and these are the 574 ML 574 MSCs classics traditionals oh buddy these are fire New Balance never disappoints with their quality man Honestly, like, the suede on these, it'll look more rich in the video quality. In person, it's like a deep navy, but in person, in the video, it'll look more rich. But, yeah, you guys got the idea. It's got, like, the infrared hit on the back that says New Balance. Tongue is infrared also. It's got the silver hits on the leather on the back, on the New Balance and on the side. Oh, the leather is so plush on these. These are like the most premium feeling 574s I've owned so far. And I didn't have to pay extra for them. Um, just says New Balance 574 on the tongue. In navy blue and white. The insole also says New Balance 574. Got the infrared hit right there too. And got the gray outsole. Now these ones, their insoles feel more cushioned, so they should be a little bit more comfortable than your normal. Now I'm not saying the original, the 574s are horrendous in comfort, like they're horrible. They are comfy, but not long hour wearable. Like if you're gonna be walking long distances for long periods of time, like hours and hours on end, not the shoe for you at all. Um, I would recommend something like the Nike Air Soon Spirit on, which those are fire. I need to get a pair of those, um, or want to get a pair of those. Uh, Hirachis, Air Force Ones, just you get the idea. Um, now these they actually included the receipt in the box, which is awesome. Yeah, I had pre ordered them. Um, and 
Yeah, so sale price was $90 exactly. And they said, enjoy $5 off your $25 or more purchase. I It says, limit one coupon per, cost, uh, per person and one per visit, not redeemable for cash. Cash value, $5 gift cannot be combined with other coupons. $5 gift cannot be combined. No, it cannot be used on previously purchased merchandise. Certain exclusions may apply. So I have a bunch of these saved up. So I'm going to take them all in one day and just go on a full on spree. But yeah, I'm just going to totally milk it. Like, love you guys. Just absolutely love the. You know, I really wish that journeys in my hometown had to deal with Nike. Unfortunately, they don't. But if you go to Journey's website, they do have Nikes on there. Um, but yeah, my hometown one, they have like New Balance. They have Levi's. They have uh, Converse. Uh, Vans. Uh, Doc Martens. Um... Reebok stuff like that just your simple essential stuff but that was it and I have actually two more items left to review and then I will be finishing it up and uploading these tonight but until later guys love you take care keep supporting subscribe like and comment down below watch my other videos keep it locked keep you up to date Peace. Good night. Well, not good night. It's not night yet. It's kind of afternoon, but you got the idea. I'll be back soon.